there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have a super cute and fun congratulations on your new puppy card, cause isn't it fun to celebrate the good things in life, like getting a brand new puppy? You could actually use this for any sort of shower card. We're gonna use a bunch of different stamps from our sponsor, Rubber Stamp Tapestry. You can find them at pegstamps.com. And when I saw the cute Ocean Babies peg stamp set, all I could think of was, it reminds me of a shower curtain in a kid's bathroom. So that's what was the inspiration for this card. I'm gonna be using a lollipop stick for the uh, curtain rod and for the stamping card I have half a sheet of cardstock scored in half and a quarter of a sheet for the stamping panel. I also have some typing paper that is lightweight that we'll make the shower curtain with uh, so any typing paper is fine. Now I want to stamp this bathtub but I want it to look like an indoor bathtub and not like an outside bathtub that you would plant flowers in so I'm using this marker just to ink up the areas I want to stamp. So I want the edges and the claw feet details and that's it. Uh, this is a water based marker. It's a Tombow marker, but any water based marker, even your kids' Crayolas, will work just fine for this. The only thing to keep in mind is if you're using a water based marker, to use a medium to color that's not going to make your colors run. We'll use alcohol markers later for that. So now I'm trying to get an idea for about how high my um, shower curtain is going to go. So I figured I'm going to want it about two and a half by three and a half. And it also gave me an idea of where I could stamp the congratulations. And that's going to go right at the top of my card. So it's a good idea to lay your elements out if you're not sure how they're going to fit. So you don't have to rework it later. I have a couple of really pale shades of gray here, a cool gray one and a cool gray three. And these are Azura markers by uh, Royal and Langnickel. They are, all, you might be able to find them online but I've seen them a lot or I should say people have told me they find them at a Tuesday morning and they're very affordable so if you see them they're a great buy if you can find them anywhere and I'm just doing a little bit of shading on the bathtub because I want it to look like a white porcelain bathtub and then I'm just doing a little bit of shading underneath the bathtub just to give it a little bit of atmosphere this card is really very simple so um, anything I can do just to make it you know perk it up a little bit is going to help now this next thing I'm going to do is really fun. I'm going to make some bubbles and I'm just going to use the perfect layering circles to stamp a bunch of circles in the um, in the sky. Now here, this is where I'm making a mistake. I started stamping the paw print thinking I had the tiniest circle. And then if, <laughs> if you heard the real live recording of this, you would have heard me gasp at that point. But I figured, well, we'll have some paw print bubbles floating around too, and that'll be just fine. So you may see a few paw prints uh, in the bubbles, um, but that's okay. I'm using some pearlescent chalks because I thought that would make a really natural looking bubble to kind of have that iridescence to it. And I'm using purple, pinks, and blues for that. <laughs> you can see a few paw prints. I actually think they look really charming, so I'm not upset about it. It was a happy accident. And then after I have all the chalk dabbed on, I simply wipe away the excess with the tissue so it won't get on anybody's hands once I deliver the card. So. So um, that's just a great way to lock everything down. You could also use Perlex or even regular chalk pastels for this. Uh, it'll work just fine. Any of your, your dry media is fine. Now I stamped the paw prints in brown thinking muddy paw prints. If you've ever had a puppy, you know they get muddy. They love to get muddy. They love to find puddles and dig in the dirt and you have to bath them. So that's one of the first things you're going to end up doing when you have a new puppy. So I thought that would be really cute uh, to do. And then I thought I would try to flick on some of that brown with a um, with some water and a paintbrush, but the archival ink did not really dissolve that well in water. So I ended up just taking a couple brown shades of watercolor crayon and diluting those and flicking those on just to give me that kind of mud spattered look. Because again, if you've ever had a bathe, a puppy, you know how everything in your bathroom is going to be covered with mud before you're done. And no, we're not getting a new puppy. I know everyone's going to ask me that. I still don't have the heart to get a, get another dog, but, um, but I, but I just love to love on other people's little dogs. Uh, and so now we're going to do the, um, shower curtain and I am using the ocean babies. They are so cute. And I'm basically just doing my regular peg stamp patterning here, starting with the biggest elements and, uh, getting them down and then working smaller where I can fit them in. It was kind of a tight squeeze to get though to get all the elements in. I probably should have spaced them out a little bit more, but um, in the end, I really like the effect. Now, this is a really fun technique. I'm using a marker spritzer. Um, Stampin' Up, I think mine is from Stampin' Up. I know Tim Holtz makes one. Um, you can find them on Amazon and eBay. They're just like an atomizer, so you can turn your any of your markers, water base or otherwise, into a airbrush. And it's really great for these little techniques because it's not going to make any of your water-based ink run if you go over that. And I just used a 
regular old office punch to make the holes that I could thread my uh, lollipop stick through so I could have curtains. I thought about doing some big eyelets here, but I don't think the lollipop stick would have fit through them, and I think it would just add too much um, rigidity, and it might be difficult to mail the card. And then I'm just kind of molding the paper a little bit with my fingers so it has a little bit of uh, softness and pliability to it, so it looks like a loose shower curtain. I'm really happy with the way this came out. Maybe I could have added a little more marker on that and made it pop a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with the results. Since this card was a shower theme, you could easily use a different sentiment on the inside. I didn't have a sentiment to go with this, so I just hand wrote my best penmanship on your new puppy on the inside. But you could obviously do a non-muddy shower on the front of your card and have a wedding shower or a baby shower and um, alter up the imagery to uh, go with that theme. So it's just any sort of shower theme you could do that with. Now this was an individual pen stamp, this cute little puppy dog, and I put that one on the inside of the card. There's also a more cartoony puppy dog from the Happy Puppy set where I got the uh, paw prints from, so I'll link both of those up below in case you prefer something else. And there, look at that, I make mistakes and I stamp on the back side of my card. So there you can see the first try that didn't come out so well. So if you're feeling like you never do it perfectly, well, hey, don't feel bad because neither do I. And then I just layered that panel down and to attach this 3D embellishment, I'm going to use hot glue, but you could use um, tacky glue or any sort of thicker glue for this. You just wanna make sure it's not gonna seep through that thinner paper. Hot glue is great for not seeping through paper if you need to attach fabric or ribbon or anything like that that just um, is kind of thin and normal glues might seep through. So it just it just looks nice and it grabs so quick that uh, you'll be done in a flash. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's kind of a, you know, odd occasion, but sometimes those are the funnest cards to make. I just put a little love washi tape on the inside because I did not have any dog themed washi tape. Can you even believe it? I know, right? Please visit our, sp visit our sponsor, pegstamps.com to find the supplies I use today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And until next time, happy crafting.